I think we all agree that Excel is all about the formulas. In this lecture you will learn the most basic concepts about the topic. As you can see, the table has no formatting. The reason for this is that to mix up formulas and formattings I should teach you other skills as well. But I wanted to keep it simple for now. In the table there are three empty columns which will be soon filled with formulas. There are also the sum text below the table for the same purpose. So let's get started. In the phrase column we want to form very simple generic sentences. For the row number 2 the sentence would be like this. The population is 37,333,000. The formulas always begin with an equal sign. You can either put the cursor to the formula bar or start typing straight to the cell. Our formula will combine a constant text string, the population is, followed by the number of population in that city. After the equal sign, set a double quote and type, the population is, space, and set another double quote to close the text string. To combine this kind of texts, numbers and formulas, we have to use a concatenation sign called ampersand. In Windows you get it by clicking Shift 6. And finally we get the population by referencing the cell in column B, and in this case row 2. You can either type B2 in the cell or click the cell B2, like this. This is the formula. If you wouldn't be happy to the formula, you could exit the cell by clicking escape button, which will undo your modifications. But in this case we are very happy and will press enter or tab key to continue. The result seems to be what we wanted and you can copy the formula with ctrl C. Then select the rest of the cells in that column with shift down arrow and press Ctrl V. You can exit the copy paste mode by hitting the escape key. The mathematical operations in formulas are just as you would expect. Start the formula with the equal sign. Set a reference to the first cell. Add the minus sign which is the dash. Then reference to the cell to be subtracted. And that's it. Basic calculations such as sum, product and division can be made like this. Then copy and paste. I will copy this time by right clicking and selecting copy from the menu. Do the same for pasting, so right click and select from the menu. We have made some simple formulas but not actually used any of the Excel's functions. Excel functions will return only one value in the cell that they are written in. Even though the results of the formulas are only single values, the formulas can take from 0 up to unlimited number of input arguments depending on the function. Next we will use the if function to determine if the population change in the cities were more than 10 millions. Let's get into business. Start with the equal sign and type if. Excel will automatically make suggestions about formulas. You can select to double click a function from the list, hit the tab key to select a function or you can just continue typing. I usually press the tab key. All the Excel formula names are followed by open parentheses. After that there will be the arguments. The arguments are separated by a delimiter character that is defined in the settings of Windows operating system and in my case it's semicolon. So the first argument is the condition that should evaluate either a true or false result. In this case it will be achieved by a very simple comparison. Click the cell in the change column to reference it. Type is greater than sign and type 10 millions by numbers. That's the first argument. The second argument will be the cell's value if the condition was evaluated as true. 
we can type here yes closed in a double quotes and the third argument will be the sales value if the condition was false this could be just no close the if function parenthesis and hit enter the function seems to be working well now copy the formula and paste it just like before so copy and paste there is still the sum function left as we want to calculate the total number of people in these top 10 cities of the world. You begin it just like you did the if function. The sum function can take either one or many arguments. The argument types can either be numbers or cell references. The easiest way to use sum is to reference the whole area that should be summed. But if you like, you can also mix the argument types. For example, type the first argument as number, the second and the third as single cell references, and the fourth as cell area. How to know how many and what type of arguments to use in formulas? Maybe the best tool to examine the topic is to set the cursor in the middle of the formula name in the formula bar and to click the FX button. From this dialog box, you get a close look to arguments and function descriptions.